Well, I know for you guys, uh, the break uh, may be a little bittersweet because you want to get off this, this losing stretch, but give the guys some time to rest after a, a tough week here. Uh, your thoughts as, as we hit into the break? You know, thought tonight we thought we had a good effort, uh, definitely better effort than we did against Colorado. And uh, tight game, right? Came down, uh, scored, I think it was five and a half minutes left in the game to, to get the go-ahead goal. And uh, But there's a lot of positive signs to it. So, uh, Again, we can feel good about that. Obviously, the result isn't what we want. Uh, so maybe the break is coming at a good time where we can get away from hockey, right? Everyone's got to get away and uh, re-energize and refocus, and we'll come back ready to work. And uh, again, great group of guys in that room that will be ready to do that. Kind of random that the last time we did talk to you was in Calgary. Uh, so it's, you know, again against Calgary. But uh, really seem like you guys have been able to defend pretty well against against this team and uh, it's an opportunity for some of your young defensemen to grow. Did you feel like over the past couple of days and especially tonight that some of those guys were able to take steps on the defensive side? Yeah, for sure. Uh, again, it, Calgary puts a lot of pressure on your net. There's always pucks going and bodies going to the net and they can be really hard. So it's always a test defensively, uh, uh, not just for the D, but for, in, in general for our team to be able to defend against that. And uh, for the most part, we did a pretty good job of uh, clearing the front of the net and, and again they go there hard and uh, it's just like Colorado does so uh, I thought we handled it pretty well we got to continue to go there. Brant Clark uh, drops the gloves the first time he said it was a kind of a bucket list thing for him but um, you know you guys had to play without him for a little bit he was able to get back in time to to get right out of the box but what did yeah. you see from him there? Oh he's such a competitive uh, player right uh, tell uh, the other kid is too so they they were going at it and uh, it was just a matter of time I think before they did drop the gloves both of them kind of wanted it so uh, good on good on him uh, again showing that fiery competitiveness he hates losing he loves winning he loves playing the game and, and an ultra competitor so uh, good for him uh, you know, being uh, being aggressive and, and again like you said he's, he's a winner wants to win and do anything it uh, takes to do it. He's the guy who doesn't get to start the break just yet. He's got to participate in this yeah. event, but uh, you know, it seems like he's looking forward to it. For you guys as a staff, probably looking forward to seeing him in this type of situation where he can showcase his skill. 100%. He's such a skilled uh, skilled player. I already touched uh, on his competitiveness, but uh, he deserves it. He's been outstanding for us all year, and obviously uh, off of the Kings played very well as, uh, in his games that he played, so uh, sky's the limit for the kid, and we're, we're thrilled that he's getting to go and show everybody how good he is. I know it was a losing effort again tonight, but Taylor Ward uh, seems like he's been taking some strides. Uh, scores two goals this week and both really meaningful goals. Uh, yeah. What have you seen from him lately? You know, again, when he moves his feet and he uses his shot, he's, he's got such a good release and uh, he's playing with grit and doing a lot of really good things uh, with him without the puck. So good on him getting rewarded for it. Uh, depend on him in a lot of different situations and uh, he was able to uh, produce a, a couple goals, which is great. It is a long season for these guys, so I'm sure the break uh, is really important for them to just rest, get away for a few days. What are some of the things that you guys feel you need to improve on down the stretch as you start to compete for a playoff spot here? Uh, yeah, there's many parts of a game that we need to touch up on. Uh, plays plays with the puck, plays without the puck, uh, whether it's our forecheck or a transition. Again, I think we took steps in our transition game uh, over the last couple uh, couple days where it would create turnovers and get the other, uh, going the other way. and. A lot of us create some offense. Uh, uh, game and goal was uh, kind of off a rush, so we need to make sure that we're uh, maybe tidying that up a little bit. But again, overall, we make tweaks during the year uh, on a game-by-game -game basis, and uh, coming back from the break will be no different.